What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and the build right behind me is actually the PC for the month of September and I'm calling it Jack the Ripper. It's equipped with a new 1950X Threadripper CPU which is a 16 core processor clocked at 3.5 GHz and it's got two EVGA GTX 1080 Ti FTW3 editions and SLI. Originally I wanted to go with two Vega 64 cards so that it can be an all AMD build but unfortunately I couldn't get my hands on a second one since they are all out of stock. The motherboard I went with is the MSI X399 Pro Carbon which is MSI's best board for the X399 chipset and for the cooler I went with the CM Master Liquid 240. Finding orange RAM sticks wasn't easy so I decided to go with RGB instead and picked up 32 gigs from G-Skill. Powering the build is a 1000 watt power supply from EVGA which I ended up covering in some D-Brand skins to match the color scheme and finally the case I'm using is the new Cougar Conquer case. But we're not here to talk about the PC because I already made two videos on it. The first one is a very nice montage build of me putting together everything and the second video is on the gaming benchmarks and you guys can find the links to those down below. What we are here to talk about is the Samsung 960 Pro M.2 NVMe SSD which is what is inside this PC. The point of this video is to find out if upgrading to an M.2 NVMe SSD is worth it. Samsung has not only sponsored this video but also sent out the 960 Pro for me to test out and see how fast it really is compared to a standard SATA SSD and to see if it's actually worth it to upgrade. For testing purposes, I ran the same benchmarks on both the Samsung 850 EVO and the 960 Pro. So M.2 is the form factor and an M.2 NVMe SSD sits in your M.2 slot on your motherboard while a standard SATA SSD uses the SATA ports on your motherboard. The point of this video is to find out if upgrading to an M.2 NVMe SSD is worth it. A 512GB SSD from Samsung costs around 150 bucks, and the 960 Pro cost double, but how much more performance are you gaining from it? Based on my benchmarks, more than half the games saw a noticeable decrease in load times compared to the SATA SSD. The most notable being Division, which got its time cut nearly in half. Even programs load much faster. Vegas Pro 15 took about 10 seconds to load on my 850 EVO and it took only 5 seconds on the 960 Pro. But where the 960 Pro really shines is in data transfer. Running the Crystal Disk Mark we get about 3400 megabytes per second on read and 2045 for the write. The 960 Pro is 6 times faster than the 850 EVO on read and 4 times faster on write. The only tests that weren't affected that much were boot times and applications that launch within a few seconds like Chrome or Calculator and stuff like that that won't make a huge difference anyways. You will definitely notice the speeds on heavy applications like editing programs, games and large file transfers. Now don't get me wrong guys, I'm not saying do not buy SATA based SSDs, that's not the point of this video. In fact, SATA based SSDs like the 850 EVO are more affordable and they still offer some incredibly fast speeds, especially if you add two or more of these in RAID 0. But if you want that extra boost and get ridiculous speeds, an NVMe SSD is the way to go. You just have to pay a little bit more for it. I'm actually going to be using the 960 Pro in my main build coming in October and trust me guys, you don't want to miss out so make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Definitely check it out, it's one of the best M.2 NVMe SSDs you can buy right now and we all know that Samsung has a great reputation when it comes to reliability and quality products. But that pretty much wraps up this video, I'll drop a link to the Samsung 960 Pro down below if you guys want to check it out. Again, a huge thanks to Samsung for sending it out and sponsoring this video. If you guys enjoyed it, feel free to drop a like and if you didn't, feel free to dislike as well, that's completely fine too. I will see you in the next one.